My name is Outsider2522. Welcome to another Eidolon video. Today we're going to be talking about the latest area that's been added to the game, the Equinox Zone. Okay, how do you get there and what actually is it? Let's talk about it. So the Equinox Zone is reached by uh, going to the Blood Bones map on World 3. This is an optional map in my opinion because you don't have to follow it to reach the boss. What actually happens though is it branches off at one point and you can take out rams. After that you'll reach blood bones. The blood bones have a one in a thousand chance of dropping the mirror item. If you collect the mirror item, you can use it and teleport to the new zone. Little thing about this mirror, you can green stack it if you really want to. If you're devout and you want the extra 2% damage, go ahead, but getting 10 million of uh, getting is it 10 million? Yeah, 10 million of them might take you a little while. Okay, let's talk about the bonuses. So the first bonus that you can unlock is Equinox Dreams. What this will do is it will unlock Dream Clouds that you get new challenges. You start off with Gnaw, you can get up to five clouds unlocked. Next is Equinox Resources. This unlocks a new resource for this area. There are four new resources to unlock, four levels to do. Then we have Shades of K. This is going to add a choice to Kilroy at the end of the round. Um, at the minute you have time, skill levels and skull chance. Another three are going to come your way if you level this up. So there's three levels to do. Then we have liquid investment. What this does is if the liquid is full, you get a 9% of excess liquid generated um, to, that goes towards your cap slash rate upgrades. Okay, now there are four levels to this. It starts at 9%, four times nine. I'm going to assume it's 36% at the top, but I don't have that confirmed. So... Next, we have matching skims. This is going to give you a 10% damage bonus. It's multiplicative, so it's a huge damage bonus. There are eight levels to this, which makes me think you want to get 80%. Okay, but again, we don't have any of this 100% confirmed. We just know how many tiers there are to each one and what they do. Next is Slow Roast Wiz. What this is going to do is it's going to give you stacking 1% tower damage every second for all towers in worship. This means that at the beginning of a new wave, you have to wait 10 seconds for this to start. And then the longer the wave, the more your damage is going to stack up. There's five tiers to this, so I'm going to assume it starts at one and works its way up to 6%. Then we have Laboratory Fuse. What this does is it gives it increases the lab range of all jewels and bonuses by one pixel. It says unless stated otherwise. So I'm going to assume the ones that have a static 80, 80 pixel range are still going to have an 80 pixel range. This has 10 levels to it, so I'm going to assume it goes up to 11 pixels. But again, don't quote me on this just yet. Metal Detector. Now this is a huge change because at the minute farming nuggets in in farming is in gaming sorry is awful. In my previous video I mentioned just how bad it is because the lower range does not increase. With this you start with a 1% chance for every nugget you dig up to be a slightly bigger one. This stacks so after 5 nuggets you'd have 5% increased chance. This has six levels to it. So I'm going to assume at top you have 7% chance. What this means is eventually, so say if you're up at 7%, after 15 nuggets, roughly, you're going to be guaranteed a bigger nugget. Now, how big the jump is, we don't know, but it certainly makes digging for nuggets a lot more attractive than it was previously. After that, we come to faux jewels. This is a 5% drop rate. It's additive, so it is a flat 5% drop rate. There are six levels to this, so I'm going to assume each one of those adds 5%, and we go up to 35%, but it might be 30, okay? Again, it is additive, but it's still drop rate. Drop rate is probably the most valuable stat in the game, so very important. Then we have food loss. Now, this is really, really interesting for the top tier ones. When you start getting toward between level 50 and 60 food, the number of ladles needed is extortionate. Some people have shown me, by the time you reach level 60, I think one of, one person showed me in my guild that it was going to take them something like a year and a half to three years to do. What this bonus is going to do is every time you defeat a random event boss, it's going to lower the meal upgrade cost by 20%. This is fantastic. Now, um, <clears throat> this can stack up to, and then this is the part where it's different. So at level one, it's only going to stack one time. Maximum, there's 10 ranks to this, so I'm going to assume that goes up to 11 times, because 1 plus 10, but it might only be 10 times. If it does, that's a 200% decrease in the cost. Uh, we know, obviously, that's not a linear decrease, but it will still be a massive saving on a number of ladles needed to unlock those four ones, which means some people may be able to finish cooking. 
Finally, we have Equinox Symbols, and what this is going to do is it's going to increase one level to all skills that you have put at least one level into. This is the exact same as the Elemental Sorceress bonus. It's three levels, which are free damage. There's five levels of this. It starts at level one, so I'm going to assume if it starts at level one, there's five levels. It goes up to plus six levels. However, it might be plus five. I can't confirm it for you yet. <clears throat> there are three fillers there, which I'm assuming will be added later, but we have no information just yet. Next, we reach a total refinery rank of 30 across all cycles. So that's across all, all six of your um, dusts. If you do that, you're going to get 10% Equinox bar fill rate. The base Equinox rate is 60 per hour, I believe. So this now puts it up to 66. Get a single sample of a million um, or more items. This will give you a new star talent. I will tell you what that is in a minute because I'll need to check on the game. Next is Reachway 50 on all six tower defense. This will unlock the next Equinox upgrade. Then defeat all five difficulties of a weekly battle boss. This will increase your max level for Equinox in liquid vestments by plus three. What I believe this means is that there's a cap on how much Equinox you can hold at any one time. This will increase that cap by giving you three extra levels to go with. Then it's max out five stat upgrades within the Flurbo shop of the dungeon. This unlocks the next Equinox upgrade. Defeat the Vengeful Grand Frogger. Fourth difficulty. It's either in a party or on your own. It doesn't matter. That adds the TikTok book from Alchemy now can go up to level 200. Um, that's the AFK Gains book. So that's that could be a big difference. Reach level 300 construction on any character. That's going to increase your Equinox bar fill rate by 15%. <clears throat> Reach level 250 on all your characters. That's going to unlock the next Equinox upgrade. Green stack 75 different items in your storage chest. So again, 10 million items, 75 of them. That's going to be another trophy per weekly battle. Get 100,000 seconds of instant progress from a single cranium cooking talent. I made a video about this. Pay attention, it'll help. That'll give plus five max levels for matching skims. Now, matching skims is the 10% increase, which has eight levels. So this is going to push it up to 13 levels. I think, unless it starts on level three levels and you unlock five. Can't confirm that yet. Reach a total shrine level of 140 across all shrines. Is going to unlock the next Equinox upgrade. Defeat the inevitable Snake and Tope, which is the final boss, I believe, will give you 20% Equinox bar fill rate. Now, if you can reach this boss, you can leave it to AFK. It has a huge amount of health, so it might take a few hours. Do it overnight, worst case scenario. Fill half of your cog board with at least 48 slots with ulti double cogs. Now, it's a very specific kind of cog, um, so you're going to have to do 48 of those. If you do that, it's going to add four levels to the Equinox upgrade, so you, all of a sudden you can carry more Equinox again. Next is to get a Lucky Lad trophy on a beginner-type character, so get your V-Man out, go get a Lucky Lad. Uh, it might take you a few candies or a few AFK, depending on what you want to do. This is going to unlock a new recipe in Anvil 3 for the Lucky Lad Trophy. So you'll be able to upgrade your Lucky Lad Trophy, it looks like. <clears throat> next is we reach a total refinery rank of 60 across all cycles. It's going to unlock the next Equinox upgrade. Then is use a stack of 100,000 cooking ladles in a single usage. So you might want to put your cooks into the kitchen as quick as possible. Again, I've got a video telling you how to maximize your cooking. This is going to add plus 10 levels for matching skims Equinox upgrade. So this would put it above the 8. So I'm now going to assume that 8 is the base. It goes up to 13 and this then puts it up to 23. Defeat the Caustic Glaxiasus, which is the third world dungeon boss. That's going to give you an extra 25% Equinox bar fill rate. Reach round 100 in the pet arena, but only using a team of four pets or less. That's going to unlock the next Equinox upgrade. Upgrade Bob Joe Pickle Vial to a two, okay? Now that is gonna be painful if you're a new player because you can only get one Bob Joe per day. Um, this is gonna really depend on how far, how long you've been playing for. That's gonna give plus five to the Fogel Equinox. So that's the one that increases the um, the span around, the, around jewels and bonuses by five pixels, I'm gonna assume. Making it up to a 16 pixel or 15 pixel bonus, depending on how it stacks. Reach level 500 on all your characters. So now we're talking about the kind of end gamers because reaching 500 is quite difficult. That's going to increase your Equinox bar fill rate by 30%. Then we have have 15 chemical plants chilling in your gaming room all at once. Chemical plants may take you a while to get to if you're in the early games. 
Having 15 of them on the screen means you're going to have to selectively pick every other plant until you get them. That's going to unlock the next Equinox upgrade. Getting 2,000 kills in a single kill row run, uh, which I'm not sure how you do that without stacking many, many seconds. So uh, that's going to be a work in progress. You're going to have to add a second. Or the other three bonuses. I don't know if the other three bonuses, maybe they give you multi-kill, which would change the game slightly. Well, change the game massively. That gives you 35% Equinox uh, bar fill rate. Get a total of 100 billion green mushroom death note kills. Now, for anyone who's 1 billion this, it can take a while. 100 billion is going to take even longer. However, <clears throat> a lot of people leave their Siege Breaker in the green mushrooms because it's kind of the best thing to do with it, just to stack cash. That's going to increase your food lust Equinox upgrade by four levels, which means that you would now be able to stack that up to 14 times, which might be 280%, could be 300%. Uh, either way, big, big, big upgrade for the very, very final foods and trying to get them up to level 60. Then get a single sample of a billion or more of any item. A few people in my guild do this, so uh, it's, it's possible. That will increase Fogel by another 10 levels. So now we're up at 25 or 26 pixels. Reach wave 121 on all tower defense worship summons. This is going to be difficult because some of these are very, very hard. That's going to give you plus 200 starting points in worship tower defense. By the time you reach level 121 in all of them, you probably don't need this. But hey, it's a nice bonus to start you off. Green stack 200 different items in your storage chest. This might be really, really difficult until World 6 comes out um, because you need to probably stack a lot of quest items to do this. This will unlock the next Equinox upgrade. So I'm thinking this is probably at a point where you're kind of more towards World 6, World 7 sort of stuff once we get more bonuses. Um, successfully take a Red Frisbee sample at Wood Mushrooms. Uh, that's actually quite easy to do because their primary thing is Red Frisbees, so you Always take a red frisbee sample. Very confusing. Uh, that's an even 40% Equinox bar fill rate. Get 100 five-star ruby cards. That's going to take you a while. Um, some of the boss cards are very, very difficult to do, so you might want to cardify them. Uh, World 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You'll most likely get these while you're getting a billion kills on each mob. That's going to increase the max level for Equinox symbols by 4, and Equinox symbols is the talent level so that's going to push your talent levels up by another four levels uh which might be 10 could be plus 10 uh nine depending on how it works that's how all of the clouds are going to work unlike most parts of the game where the longer you leave it the slower your gains are this actually works in a way that you're capped okay much more in line with alchemy which means that you probably want to be checking this zone every few hours if you need to to buy upgrades okay if you can start clearing through those clouds as quickly as possible, you're going to unlock new bonuses. New bonuses are very, very good. As I say, some of the later ones are extremely powerful. So go and kill blood bones, unlock that. Um, if, you're, if you're fortunate, you'll be able to candy it straight away, get that mirror drop. Once you have the mirror drop, start unlocking it and get this going as quickly as possible because I feel like you're going to need a lot of generation to unlock everything. If you found this video useful in any way, shape or form, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, You've been amazing. Take care.